Good morning, Asia. Fellow privateers, welcome to the uh, North American Wrap, the Asia Preview, for the last trading day of the week. Lucky for you. It's been difficult this week. It's been a, been a tough market. Let's get to some interesting charts, though. Here's a S&P 500 E-mini. Look, look where it stopped today. 26.60, we'll round up, was the low. Third Feb of this recent move, the swoon from early February. Back up to the highs near 2,800, and then back down, stopped here. I, we, we still like it lower. It's uh, It did close above the 100-day moving average. Got close. I thought I thought maybe today we'd see a close on her, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get you know 26, 29, maybe even 25, 85 on this move down. Um, it was really all about Trump tariffs, steel and aluminum tariffs. So if we pop over to the currencies, we can see what some of these um, commodity currencies looked like. Here was Dollar Canada. Here's a daily. Um, you know, we went up, we got really close to this level that we were trying to sell, this 129.15, uh, just just shy of that, <clears throat> and then kind of an ugly close, it, it actually got hit pretty hard with all the rest of the dollars, so the tariffs are, you know, basically dollar negative, here's a euro dollar outside reversal higher day, made a nice new low here, real cute, after the ISM number, which is much better and then closed way higher. Um, the tariffs are dollar negative and equity negative. When Bush enacted steel tariffs back in 2002, um, the next like three or four months, the dollar really sold off and the stocks were down 10 or 15 percent. So I think the market's looking back 16 years and trying to decide if that's going to be a similar reaction. Um, Here's cable, big down, big down day, Brexit, BS. Nothing good is coming of this. We can dig into that a little bit more in uh, this weekend. You know, we'll I'll, I'll read up on it and I'll give you guys a you know we'll do a little bit longer video on um, on Monday morning, get you guys prepared. But um, you know, just kind of thinking about overall, like here's Sterling Yen. Sterling Yen was extremely weak. Went down to 146 a figure today. You know, I've got much, much lower targets now. This is 145 figure-ish. Um, equities still thinking we see a lower low this week. It's very rare, you know, in my, over the 25 years or so, it's very rare that uh, a market mo makes a low or a high on a Thursday. So if you look at this daily S&P mini chart, got the Thursday low. My guess, you got a little bounce here in a, you know early Asia. My guess is that we make a lower low for the week tomorrow. So you guys can call me out on that. <clears throat> Feel free to tweet me. Um, but it's just you know from what I've seen. It's, it's very rare where Thursdays are making lows. Here's uh, here's the VIX. The VIX had a, a decent up day, up 13%. It was up about 25% at one point. See how it went up to like 20, almost 26. We can draw some fibs here while we're at it on the daily VIX. Here's the high up at 50 and change. The low down at 15 was the move. So 28.80 is the third fib coming back up. 32.80, 37. Yeah, this has definitely got room after this messy looking chart, but uh, you know we're not really trading the VIX. But uh, let's take a look at 10-year yields real quick here because we've been bullish these, we've been long these for. Uh, we put on a long position last Friday. Took a little pain early on. Decent close here. <clears throat> Yields a little bit, uh, or 10 years a little bit lower. Still like, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a retest this 122 area, and that would be at 
that would be like a 270-ish, I think, in the 10-year yield. 265, 270, that area is probably pretty good support. Um, economic data coming out, uh, Canadian GDP tomorrow morning. That probably doesn't matter. It's a monthly number. Uh, so um, keep an eye out for us on the European Open. And good luck trading on your last trading day of the week. And you will hear from me again on on your open on uh, Monday morning Asia time. All the best. Have a good weekend. Cheers.